Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a table for your American Girl doll. What you're going to need is one American Girl doll, a ruler, a pencil, some scissors, a marker. You'll probably want to use a Sharpie. You'll also need paint, a paintbrush, and a paper plate. Or you can um, use markers or paper and tape because um, that's what we're going to use to cover the table in. You'll also need some cereal boxes. You'll only need two but um, it's probably best to have three just in case. Um, you'll also need a stapler and some tape. The tape that I am using is um, some scotch tape. Uh, you can use any kind of tape you want. This is just the tape that I have. So, yeah. So, first we are going to start with the legs. You're going to have your cereal box folded like this. And then you are going to find um, how wide you want your legs. Like, if you want your legs as wide as the spine, then you're going to need to measure how wide the spine is. So, the spine on the cereal box is exactly 2 inches. So, I'm just going to mark 2 inches right here. Put the edge of my ruler there. And I do suggest making it as wide as your spine so that way everything is even, but you don't have to. And then it's, it, it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to go, and since I know this is the length, how wide I want it, I'm going to go over it in my marker for a Sharpie. Line it up just right. And it's okay if you mess up on the um, Sharpie part because you gotta remember we will be covering this up with paint or paper. And you're gonna wanna go all the way to the end, even on the tabs. Because, believe it or not, these tabs are pretty important. So, like this. The little flaps. Then you're going to turn it over. And do, it to do the same to this side. Just double check. Okay, it's two inches. And this time I think I'm just going to go straight ahead and do it in Sharpie because I'm pretty sure I stretched myself. Yep. Don't forget to do the tabs. Um, okay, now we are going to do the other part, the other side. See, we only have two flaps. We are going to want, um, we're going to want three. So I'm, this side is right here. So now that it's flipped over, I'm just going to mark two inches. And do the same thing that I did. Flip it over and do the same thing over here. Mark two inches. Okay. Now that we have that done, 
you're going to make sure that it's folded up like this and you are just going to cut on your lines. Now you can just have it flat if you want and cut on your lines. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop it and I'll be right back.